What is going on guys? Money Webby here, back in Friday. Another two game slate here tonight, tipping off 8 p.m. Again, we got some high pace, high scoring games. Golden State New Orleans, first off, projected 232 points. So we're expecting a lot of points in that game. Then we got Houston going against Utah, tied up 1 1 in that series. An interesting game last game. Houston got down big and then they came roaring back. Almost stole the win in that one, but Utah ended up pulling it out. So that was, it should be another interesting game there. So I got my money six for tonight. My favorite six plays as a core for DraftKings on this slate. So go ahead and drop a like on the video before we get going. Greatly appreciate that. Let's try to get over 100 likes again. Um, just to show some support and I can just, it helps them out the channel and helps out bringing these videos to you guys. So let's just hop into it. I'm going to go with Anthony Davis, the brow. First off at 10,700. Coming off a solid game last time um, against Golden State in this game. And like I said before, a ton of points is coming here. And Anthony Davis, he's normally that go-to guy for New Orleans. He's gotten 20 and 24 shots in the first two games against Golden State. And he's been very active on the glass, 15 rebounds and 10. So he should be in line for another double-double here. We know he's very active on the defensive end with blocks and steals. So at 10700 same price. I think he's going to get over 60 drafting points again in this game. And normally the guy's an animal at home. If you look at the splits, uh, 56 drafting points on average at home here compared to only 51 uh, on the road. So I think Anthony Davis is going to come out here and must win game for the Pelicans to make this a series. So he's going to be trying to go all out in this game. I see 60 plus drafting points at a nice price tag. I'm surprised his price didn't go up to around uh, like 11,000. But I'll take the discount, lock him in there. And we're going to stick with the Pelicans. So like I said, this high scoring up tempo game has really helped out Ray John Rondo. His ability to get rebounds, assists, and even some steals because the Warriors can be a little bit sloppy what they're passing sometimes, and Rondo can kind of get in those passing lanes. So he got five steals last game. So he has some upside there with the steals, and he's just been letting the Warriors have just been leaving him wide open for some threes and just some scoring opportunities because they're more worried about taking away Drew Holiday and Anthony Davis and even Miritic on the offensive end. So it's leaving Rondo open for some easier looks. So we saw that last game. He dropped 22 drafting points, and we always know he can get the assist and rebounds. So I think he's going to be getting some more points again here, over 10 points. I think he'll get over 10 assists again here, and the rebound should be in that round, that 7-8 total again here. So I see, honestly, like the 50-point upside here again for Rondo on at 7,300. Another guy that didn't change his price, so not sure what DraftKings really saw here with the Pelicans, but I think they... They might be thinking that the Warriors blow them out in this spot based on the price not really going up. Um, obviously, it can happen, but the Pelicans, just because how big of a game this is in the first game in New Orleans, I think it should stay competitive throughout. And Rondo and Anthony Davis are just going to be connecting for some alley-oops early and off in this game. So I see 40-plus drafting points with 50-plus upside for Rondo again here. Lock him in there. And that's my first two. We're going to go with the Pelicans there. And then Steph Curry he has nice... Uh, point guard and shooting guard eligibility, so it makes it easier to use them here on this two-game slate. Now, 8700 another guy that has priced and changed him out. He was shooting very well against the Pelicans in the first game. He dropped 45 drafting points, and that was only in 27 minutes. So with um, him moving to the starting lineup here in this game, then that means some more minutes here. Should get over 30 minutes pretty easily in this spot. And just some more opportunities for just every single stat and also some more shots. So if he can catch fire from three again here and just fill it up with this high tempo game with the ability for more rebounds and assists and all that good stuff, I think he can return value with this 87 price to 8700 price tag and get around 50 drafting points in this game. So I like Steph Curry a lot here. I'm going to lock him in there. So that's a nice core three there with guys that all have 50 plus upside in that high scoring affair. So for my fourth guy though, Eric Gordon at 4,400 hasn't been shooting that well against the Jazz, but he still dropped a good drafting total last game with 15, I mean, uh, 30 drafting points, shot 5 for 16 from the field. So the volume was there. The shots just weren't dropping. So for this Rockets team to really, I don't know, win this game and just kind of keep it going in this playoffs, I think Eric Gordon is a guy that needs to get it going. He, he needs to start being that like second and third scoring option for this Rockets team. So the minutes have been there. I love to see like 30 minutes on the court for the Rockets. And just the shot totals have been nice. I think that he can get him to drop in this game against Utah. 
He um, I th he probably was just doing some extra work after that game, shooting five or sixteen. Normally, uh, Eric Gordon is the guy that shoots that bad consistently. So I think he'll bounce back here. Like when he shot five for sixteen against Minnesota, he hit a nice bounce back game. Twenty six drafting points, six for fourteen. So I think we'll have a similar game here. Get around like twenty five plus drafting points and a forty four hundred. It's a nice discount considering his upside and the amount of minutes and just usage he's been getting in this playoffs and just throughout this season. So Eric Gordon, guy I'm looking to for the Rockets. P.J. Tucker and all those other guys have really been disappointing. So Eric Gordon needs to step up here, and I think you will lock him in there. And for my fifth and final guy of the court, I'm going to go with Joe Inglis, the guy that's really made a name for himself in this playoffs, and he's gotten a boost over the last couple of games because Rubio has been out. Some extra shots going up. He got 13 shots last game. Good for 27 points and 35 drafting points so the scoring total was great and honestly he kind of had a lower uh, mark at rebounds and assists than he normally gets normally he's a pretty solid passer pretty solid rebounder as you can see against OKC in some of these games so I think he'll be able to score pretty solid again here in this matchup and like I mentioned without Rubio that kind of opens up some opportunities for the offense in general and just for Joe Inglis and the thing I mentioned in the last series against OKC the guy is a much better uh, performer at home for whatever reason the shooting numbers aren't normally I mean aren't there but I feel like he, the Utah Jazz and just Joe Ingles and like himself is, is more active and just better at home for whatever reason so we'll look at the splits 28 versus 25 on the road so that's kind of noticeable even though the shot uh, percentages are down if you look at the series against OKC though with him at home just last series he had 34 and 35 at home after not doing that much on the road then they went back to OKC only got 26 and then back home got 32 drafting points so he's felt more comfortable at home played better throughout the playoffs at home so I think I'll have another solid game here and without Rubio that's also good so I see 30 plus drafting points yet again here and make it four straight games with over 30 and still be in price way too low at 5700 so Joe Inglis he's gonna keep on making a name for himself lock him in there so that's the core five you got Rondo Steph Curry Joe Inglis, Anthony Davis, and Eric Gordon. Some nice value with a lot of those guys. And then you got your studs in there as well. And for my uh, value guy, we're going to have to go cheap here because we're paying up for some of the studs on the slate. And Kayvon Looney is a guy that has been pretty solid in this series against New Orleans. They've been using him to kind of match up with that size for New Orleans down low. And he's and they can kind of play those faster paced games because he's a very athletic guy. So at 3,400 with the amount of minutes he's been getting just in the last three games, 23, 24, and 23 consistent throughout. And been doing the same kind of stuff, getting around like eight points, uh, five rebounds or so, and just some little things just to return some solid value and get around like 20 drafting points or so, like 18 to 20 is what we're kind of looking for. And I think he can do that in this high tempo game. So Kayvon Looney, a supreme discount here, so you can pay up for those guys, like I mentioned in the quarter five. So I'm going to go with him there, lock him in, and then you get 4,900 remaining per player. So definitely doable with these high uh, octane players, some high floors in these guys, like all of them can approach um, like 40 drafting points, honestly, except Kayvon Looney. So I like a lot of these plays. Um, a nice little core here. So drop a like in the video if you did enjoy the video. 100 plus likes. Thank you so much for that. Uh, let's try to get it going. I wish you guys the best of luck. Let's try to win some money here tonight. Anthony Davis, let's make it like a freaking huge night. 70 plus drafting points out of him, hopefully. He always has that crazy just psycho mode where he just can't miss jump shots and he's just dunking all over people so hopefully we see that tonight love watching him play definitely tune into that warriors pelicans game because last last game was extremely uh, exciting to watch so that should be another good game hopefully it stays close and subscribe if you haven't already to get these winning plays every single day for nba I won't be uploading an mlb uh, video today because i did run out of time my car battery actually went bad because there was like a rusty piece in my car. So I ran out of time with my research for MLB as well. I had to just focus on NBA. So that's what I got here today. So if you're looking for MLB, no video coming today. I'll be back tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. And good luck tonight, guys. Two games late, tipping off at 8 p.m. We'll see you back here again next time.